translators, I will speak slowly. But here you see a picture which marks the thinking that I believe we need when we think about competitiveness. I don't care if you call it blue economy or green economy, colored economy, all fine with me. My only condition is we move away from the economic system we have today. I'm not saying that the present economic system is bad. I don't want to live between heaven and hell, as the Catholic Church proposes. I want to live with the realities we have today. And what I do know is we have to do much better. Not just better, much better. And whenever someone proposes something that is good for my health and good for the environment and I have to pay more, that person should be invited to do better. This picture of the bamboo in Kamakura, Japan, where I have lived uh, so many years, 14 years, allows us to think and meditate. As business people, and particularly business people who have an MBA, like me, we have stopped seeing with our ears and we have stopped listening with our eyes. The only thing we see is discounted cash flow analysis. <coughs> and then we paint CSR on top of it to justify it. I'm sorry, it's not good enough. <coughs> I think what we need to realize is that we have to embrace innovations. We don't have to embrace change. <coughs> we have to embrace fundamental innovations. We have to embrace innovations that will change the business model. And if you manufacture, or if you're a service provider, or you're an NGO, it's the same. We have to change the way we do business. I'm not saying we have to stop doing business. I'm the last one to prohibit business. Tax people. But I think we all agree that this great idea of the 60s and the 70s of the green economy is unfortunately a proposal that requires us to pay more. Where the government has to subsidize green energies so they're still expensive, but not that much more expensive. It's not good enough. Let's look at the bamboo and imagine that new business model that innovates to the point that it outcompetes whatever you have. The new innovations should not only compete on the market, the new innovations in these business models should outcompete what's on the market. And since last week, I spent a week in Berlin. And I think a very historic moment when the four political parties, the four leading political parties of Italy, excuse me, of Germania, of Germany, it's impossible for political parties in Italy to agree. <laughs> How is that ever possible? 
But last week, the FDP, with their new leader, Philip Russell, has agreed to close down all nuclear stations. And maybe I played a little trigger, a little role in it. Because in my hearings with the politicians and the press meeting, I said very clearly, I am not against nuclear. But nuclear doesn't make sense when I can offer you energy at a quarter of the cost of nuclear. A quarter? Four times cheaper. And the front page of the Berliner Tageszeitung said, impossible. No impossible. Well, it's about time you see and you listen with your eyes and your ears.